Hello everybody, my name is Redex and welcome back to Star Sector and our attempt to recreate the Imperium of Mankind. Now I was actually heading over to start the video attacking a bounty which is down south here, but on the way we've come across some Reuters everybody and as we all know we are at war with the Reuters. So let's see if I can go and wipe them out. Oh wait, come back friends. I mean enemies. <laughs> let's see if we can take these guys down. Oh they're miles away. Oh is that a big enemy fleet? No it's not. Ah oh, the pirates are attacking them. Is that a pirate fleet over there? Oh no. Do you know what? I reckon we can take this. I reckon we got this in the bag. I know our fleet's not perfect, everybody. In fact, the enemy just the game just gave me what is that 391% XP boost if I win? I reckon we can win it. I reckon we got this in the bag. Okay, let's have a quick look around. There's a lot of enemies, as you can tell. <laughs> but it's okay. We're the Imperium of Mankind. It won't be a problem for us. We just purge any heresy we see. So a lot of the enemies are pirates though, so it should be okay. This ship's actually really cool if you don't remember it from last episode. It actually has a slow down warp field if I use it, which is really cool. Okay, that didn't work out very well, did it? Yeah, look how cool that is. The entire game slows down when I use this ability. That is pretty badass. Oh, that was so close. I can't believe how close that was. The problem with this ship, though, is that it's a little bit on the slow side when it comes to killing enemies, but I think we'll be okay. Let's try and let the AI get some hits here. Nope. Okay, that enemy is dead. That was not an enemy I really want to be fighting with this ship. <laughs> it's way too fast. Let's go for the carriers and stuff, or the enemies that are a little bit slower, so we can actually catch them, so just being ridiculously slow. It looks like a lot of my guys are actually doing a pretty good job here. The oh, Okay, he needs help. <laughs> he needs help. I take it back. Assistance is required over there. Let's go and see if we can take down that mule. It's not really a combat ship, but it is going to be more powerful than a lot of my allies here. Oh, no. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. It's not looking good for him. If we can maybe recover his life. Save him, men. Save him. Okay. The fighters may have saved the day here. Dude, don't flux. Get the hell out of there, man. What are you doing? <laughs> This guy has literally survived with... I can't tell how much hole he's got, but it's probably not a lot. Anyway, I finally arrived at my target. That took me a while. Why, hello there, pirate. Oh, it's my face ship. I forgot about that. I like how most of my ships control time and space, which I think is pretty fun. I guess looking pretty good for us. And the enemy's dead. Perfect. This guy is screwed. I, I, I'm loving this, by the way, because... Oh, no, he's doing it. Wait for it. Oh, how cool is that? I love that ship. If I can get more of them, I'm definitely doing it. There's a random shuttle there, but I think he's dead. I don't think he's going to survive my little ships there. Is there a condor over here? Pretty sure there is. Uh oh. Oh, that is... I'm such a fanboy, everybody. <laughs> I love that ship. It's awesome. So there's a few carriers at the back here, but this is great for us because... Wait, do I lose a ship? No. That we haven't at the moment. It's pretty good for us, though, because it does mean that we're going to get... What is it? 390 percent increase in XP gain? That's insane! We're going to get loads and loads of XP from this battle. Though this ship is pretty slow. I just said at the end of last episode, this is not the ship I actually want to be using. I want to be using the Praetorian, which is the ballistic version. Way more my kind of thing. Uh, oh, are you okay? Oh, he's okay. <laughs> Every time he uses that ability, he does like a weird EMP feel, which kills everybody, which is pretty cool. Okay, they're dead. Um, there's a few enemies at the top there, but it's quite far away. We'll get there eventually. This is where I wish there was a fast forward mode, because it'd be pretty handy. I guess I can just use this a little bit. I mean, I can just slow down the entire universe just to speed up a little bit. <laughs> Okay, so the enemy... Oh, it's easy. It's a Hellborn Cannon and a Phase Ship. That's pretty annoying, actually. What we'll probably do... Let's send the two fighter squads to go and kill that Phase Ship. Because it's probably going to try and escape if it panics. This guy is just screwed, though. <laughs> he can't even move right now. It's a ship without even having an engine. Oh. Oh, here comes a Phase Ship. Ooh. And yeah, screwed. Nice! Wait, the shuttle killed the Phase Ship. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, uh, I guess let's do a... Yes. Oh, we... I'm pretty sure we just leveled up from this battle. There's no way we haven't leveled up. I'm going to do a... Okay, we've killed every single one of them. Show me the XP game. Where is it? <laughs> wow! That's a lot of XP, everybody. <laughs> 
Whoa, damn! I'm saving up for that. That was epic. Uh, yes, I'm now level five, everybody. Um, t doing really crazy battles is a good idea. So, uh, first off then, I probably want to get this. Increase my pilot's uh, target accuracy. Pretty damn useful. Let's go for the... Hmm, movement speed one, very handy. Let's go for the ECM rating of ships. I'm not going to elite it though. We'll leave it as it is. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of a problem. And I think I kind of want to get... I'm going to try and, like, spread out these skills so we're, like, very varied. I think it's a very good idea to do. I'm also going to go for the... This one is really handy, but maybe not right now. Let's go for the one that repairs my ships, because this one is extremely useful. <laughs> There's a lot of really, really useful ones in this game, but this one saves you a lot of CR if it just randomly repairs all your stuff. So it is pretty damn handy. Let's go for that one, and that's safe. So that's cool. So now we got ourselves more target range and accuracy. We got ourselves faster movement speeds, and we repair loads of damage a lot quicker. So that's pretty damn handy. So if we go back into here... I also have Maxim, my good old right-hand man. He's leveling up. Let's give him... Oh, what do we want to give him? This one could be pretty handy. Because he's using a... Fl I'm going to leave this guy on the phase ship. So we're actually going to give him full modulation. He's leveled up again. Nice. Uh, let's also go for increased charges. Because he's got that really cool ability. So definitely... Yeah, yeah, we we'll go for that as well. Is that it? That's it for now. Okay. I already made his um, gunnery implant the main skill. Probably won't be a bit of a mistake when it comes to... I could have picked like this one or something, but it's okay. Um, it is what it is. Anyway, so that's pretty good for us. That's a pretty good start. Let's save again just in case. I'm going to... Where are the Reuters? There they are. So one of these guys is going to die, and I'm going to kill the survivor. Why, hello there. Oh, actually, we should probably back up. I just realized we're actually a little bit hurt right now from the last battle. Let's just let it repair. And we'll hunt down that guy in a second. We can still see him. I'm going to get you. Oh, there's like a big battle over there as well. That's pretty cool. We're still a little bit hurt, but I think most damage has been repaired. So we give this a shot. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's quite a lot of them as well. <laughs> it'll be fine. Don't worry about it. What can possibly go wrong? Oh, I didn't do this properly at all, did I? Let's uh, quickly do this. Just for future battles. I want to make sure we got the correct levels. So unit 1 is basic attacking. Unit 2 is everybody attacking. Sorted. Of course I'm not going to deploy my freighter though. Because it would just die horribly. Are we ready men? Are we ready? Okay there's quite a lot of them again. Unlike the pirates. These guys ships are not falling apart. So it may be a little bit harder. Let's go for the ones that are a little bit big. Like this guy over here. Oh look at that phase ship go. It's so cool. I absolutely love it. Okay, let's go for this guy. Oh, what is that? Is that some kind of carrier? I guess it is. Hi. I should win this because we are, in fact, using a destroyer. This is only a frigate, so we should get the advantage here. Oh, it's going to get away, though. Oh, no. Okay, I'm letting that go. If we carry on going, we might get over... Might get destroyed there. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, man. Okay, I've changed my mind, everybody. I'm just going to get a fleet of these guys. They're amazing. <laughs> Watch your... F oh, we lost a kite, though. Ah, oh, that's a bit sad. It is what it is. Okay, there's any just vent... Oh, I've already vented. It's fine. Oh, I like these fighters, though. Look at these designs. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm liking the look at that. Okay, let's go for the kill, shall we? Oh, sorry. I got used to this ability. <laughs> I did not do a good job there with my piloting, so... But this weapon is pretty good to pulse laser, though. We're doing a lot of damage here. I like how every time he appears on the screen, he's just like bursting into combat of like a ridiculous amount of uh, speed. Near that. Breakthrough, guys. Breakthrough. Okay, that guy is cooked. It's a bit of a shame about the kite there, everybody. But in reality is we bought the ships for like five grand each. They're really good ships at the start of the game, but they're not going to be very useful in combat, really. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> but yes good job buddy good job that is an amazing ship let me just uh, fast forward a little bit there slow down side oh here he goes again I did it too far away though we need to get the uh, speed boost to that guy oh that is such a good ship okay well that guy is firmly destroyed 
I think we probably... I'm not sure if I actually want to replace the kite, to be honest, everybody. Um, we'll see if it's recoverable. If it is, we'll take it. If not, I think we'll leave it alone. Because we want to try and get a higher quality navy anyway. Are we still fighting somebody? No. <laughs> uh, we will let them go. Oh, I can repair it. I'll just take it with me then. It's fine. Oh, we can get one of their ships. I guess we can try it. Nah. Oh, it can't. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's got fighter clamps on it. I was going to say. It comes with a random fighter wing. <laughs> I was like, what's going on there? Do you know what? We'll leave it alone. We'll leave it alone. I don't want to get too many ships. I want to try and keep a nice high quality navy if I can. So that's that done. Loads of money there. Uh, don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I could be survived. What's going on over here? There's like a lot of battles going on. Is it the Reuters? No, it's mercenaries and they're attacking the station. I'm not sure I want to get involved in that, to be honest. I think we're going to probably back up. Let's go for this guy, though. Let's take this guy down. Oh, cool. Yeah, the local faction's, like, purging them at the moment. So, ah, that's a bit of a shame. Most of my units there are already damaged. So, we'll leave them be. And I'll deploy them myself. Let's keep going up. It's a good start for the video, though, everybody. We've got loads of kills already. It's gone pretty well. Oh, here we go. Oh, did that not work? Oh. <laughs> I was excited about nothing. What? <laughs> What's going on over there? That is a speed. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I need more. I need more. Okay, there's a camel. There's a few small. There's a wolf. That could be a little bit annoying. Um, it should be fine. Let's go for the camel, I think. I like how, despite me technically being a destroyer, this is a really, really. S oh. Oh. They just killed my engines. Let me just fire some salamanders to get them back. You take out my engines, I take out your engines. How does it feel? Okay, let's go. Ooh, my flux is not good there. I think that ability uses a lot of flux. I probably should have seen how much it used, but it definitely ruined my overloading there. Uh oh, that's not good. How much does it use? Oh, it uses a little bit. Sorry, this is my flux isn't that great with this ship. We'll figure out a better fit for it eventually. I mean, it's not as good as this one. <laughs> Damn. Oh, it's more because he's got the um, anti-shield missiles, which are, believe it or not, really good against shields. I know it's a hard thing to understand there, but yeah. I guess I can try and dodge it next time. No, I can't dodge it. I did try there, but it's really fast and really dangerous. They're really good missiles, though. They're, if you want missile fits, that is one to get. That is for sure. Well, despite me being absolutely awful at my job there, my fleet was way better, and we survived. So that was pretty good. Uh, oh, there is one of me running away. Let's just send in... I'll tell you who we're going to send, everybody. Only one man is available for this job. Only one man can destroy this escort carrier with extreme power. And that man is Maxim. Let's watch him go. I'm actually playing, by the way. I'm just literally watching this guy fight. I was quite interesting when I see the comments about how people play this game quite a lot. Because a lot of them actually just, a lot of them just play it completely manually. And they always like try and micro all their ships. Some people actually just play the entire game in RTS mode. They literally just give orders from the map and they just send people around doing various command and stuff. That's really, really cool. I love how this game is so dynamic. You can play it in totally different ways. I like playing with like AI shooting and stuff because I like like controlling the ship's directions and stuff. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I think as soon as he gets near, he'll probably start using his abilities. Come on, Maxon. You got this, buddy. This is where he fun somehow fails. Oh, uh oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> We're back. He's doing it. He's doing it. Ship's like, what just happened? Can you do it? Oh, no, he's got... A, oh, that's not good. That's not good. He is... He's uh, He's got his downsides, though, this guy. He is pretty cool, but I mean, like, that. he just took loads of damage there. Not great. Do it again. Let me witness the power. He's really far. Oh, dude. You let, you let the Sunder and nick your kill, man. Well, it's okay. <laughs> he tried his best, okay? He was uh, faltering under pressure there, clearly. 
He's leveled up though. Second shift, he's even better. Uh, let's see. So, this is going to be his last level, I think. At least until we get ourselves some more um, skills. Helmsmanship, clearly. More maneuverability, more top speed. This is the way he needs to go. So, grab that. He's now max level. Done. <laughs> I think it's a shame, by the way. I might get a mod to increase max level for officers. Because it's a bit... It's, it's sad, man. It's sad. He's, he's done now. He can't get any better until we get to, like, max level or more skills. Yeah, I think it's a bit too soon, personally. But it is what it is. Um... Yeah, so now he moves a lot faster. I'm kind of curious about maybe... Oh, I built it in. Uh, maybe it wasn't the best idea. But yeah, I've done it. <laughs> so it is what it is. Anyway, so that's gone pretty well. Uh, I think we could probably leave the space alone now. Ah, unless... Why, hello there. Actually, how many pirates are there? Wait a minute. Is there loads of them? No, that's not a pirate. That's a random guy. Okay, well, let's head back anyway. I was actually on my way over to do a... Um, a bounty, not actually do this. So let's go and see what we can do. Oh, there's more roiders over there, but we'll leave them alone. Let's get ourselves some more fuel and stuff and get some more supplies. I guess we can also get rid of all this random stuff I picked up as well. That was a lot of... I had a lot of cargo there. <laughs> uh, we'll keep that guy with us. Let's also take... I'll tell you what, let's actually buy some of these machines. We'll get more crew as well. I know it's a lot of crew, but I really want to max it out. Do you know what we're probably missing? We need more storage for the crew. So we need the crew to colonize planet. So if I come across one, I can just immediately grab it. Uh, I, we'll leave it for now. The chance of me stumbling across an amazing planet in the first five seconds is pretty unlikely, to be honest. So we'll just let it go through. Um, while we're here, though, is there any cool weapons we can maybe get? I don't know what these weapons are, so I'm not really sure what they're going to be doing. This one's a pretty cool frigate, but I think we'll leave it alone. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> that's some kind of ship, but I don't know really what it is. Okay, that's fair enough for me. Uh, let me just quickly get ourselves... Okay, we want supplies. Uh, we've got loads of fuel ready. I guess we'll just leave it at that. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of the time I play the game, I actually make fuel from just killing loads so many people. So, <laughs> if we just carry on playing, it should be fine. Okay. Let's head back towards the objective, which was all the way down here. This guy down here. What's your, what's your name, sir? Scott Crossbones. That's the guy we're trying to kill. The despicable man. Oh, what's this? So, you want to get rid of flux dissipation rate. Oh, no. He... Oh, that's bad. No. No, 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 no. I'm debating, but I, I should have debated it more before I started this series, but I, I don't know if it the mod is as good as it used to be, the s s um, Starship Legends, because you do get loads of negative traits with the ships now. It's really annoying. I mean, those two are good, but like, yeah, it mostly is pretty annoying. I mean, in the past, it used to be based directly off how well you played the game or how well your ship did in combat. So I like that system more. Now it's a bit more arbitrary. So, <laughs> But anyway, it is what it is. It's like, oh, you're a really good pilot, but you just get a negative 20%, um... Sorry, you get a plus 20% malfunction chance. I'm like, that's not fair. <laughs> that's awful. Okay, so apparently down here is the super giant where Crossbones is. Let's see if we can just get through here quickly. Oh, no! That wasn't that bad. We got through that okay. So, was he... I think he's next to a barren world. Oh, there's a beacon here. Oh, it's level. It's low level. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So, let's have a quick look. This is a barren world right here, so he may literally be here. Hello? We found somebody. But that's not by a barren world. Oh, there's one by the star. Well, first, let's see what's over here. Ooh, a mining station. As we have some cargo capacity now, I have no issue with actually going through these things. Uh, oh, interesting. There's one of those drone ships. Let's engage. I'm going to send everybody, though, because these drone ships can be a little bit nasty sometimes. So, I'm going to try and keep ourselves alive here. Okay, let's see. There he is. I really want to see the maneuverability of the ship now because I increased its maneuverability by another 50%. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh. Nice. <laughs> I was so distracted, I actually forgot. I stopped playing. 
Oh, look at that damage. My ship's pretty good as well. With the time skip ability, I can just lay in loads of damage in a few seconds. It's pretty awesome. I don't think we even needed the backup, to be honest. I think <laughs> the, our Imperial ships could have easily won this battle by themselves. Oh, that shuttle's having a bad time, though. Oh, here's my old flagship. Which is actually the same... I just realized it's the same size as my destroyer, pretty much. Well, that was very easy. I was a bit panicky about that drone ship, because I thought it might be a bit dangerous. But that went really well for us. I don't think I need the allies next time. Okay, so we got loads and loads of stuff there. That's pretty cool. I will take Juno. Interesting. We'll take all of that. Uh, I will double tap. Don't worry, guys. Stop freaking out. Oh, that was just the loot from... Sorry, that was the loot from the actual um, battle, not the loot from the base. So we actually got ourselves an AI core. Advanced... Oh, that's a good one. I used that in last time. That was really, really good. And Volkov Industries High-Grade Weapon Blueprint Pack. I am... The more the better. The, the more the merrier, right? We're going to set this into my, my repertoire. Excellent. Okay, let's take all the loot. I'm going to dump this, though. I don't really want to carry around 1,052 ore, selling at £10 a unit. No thank you, sir. Okay, let's double tap. And we got Stabilized Shields. Another very good one, actually. So I'm happy about that. I'll definitely take that one. Let's take the stuff with me, and I think we're good to go. Okay, so, 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 we know the enemy is near here somewhere, don't we? So let's go and see if we can say hello. I'm, gonna, I'm not using... Let's go around the left a little bit. Uh, right a little bit first. Let's see if we can get him to come to us. I don't really want to fight him inside the star's radius. There he is. That's good enough for me. Because it, it affects the uh, CR generation and stuff. So I'm going to keep away from the sun until we get a normal battle here. So this guy actually does have a Breacher Q ship. Which I think is a little bit nasty. But not too nasty. And a bunch of regular enemies. So it should be okay. We're deployed with the entire fleet this time as well. Let's make sure we got full power going. Let's go, everybody. Okay, I'm going to try and go for the mule first. We saw, because that's a ship that's quite big, and it might distract my allies a little bit too long. That guy's dead. <laughs> he doesn't realize it yet, but he is dead. Uh, that, there he is. Okay, we're getting a few hits here. Oh, my point defense is not very good, everybody. <laughs> I That needs to be upgraded. If it can't take on a single Salamander missile, it, like, with a plenty of notice, it's not good enough to be on my ship. Right, just, okay, we're back, we're back. Let's do this. Oh, that damage. Beautiful. Let's reduce the shield so we get a little bit more flux. They're not even shooting me right now. Yeah, because the pill defense is also shooting it. I'm not a fan of that point defense. It needs to be switched out. It's not good enough for me. This is a tough cookie to crack, though. I like how on the top left, you can just see my face ship just murdering every single enemy in sight. <laughs> just killing everyone. He killed like four or five ships. How's he even doing this? Let's do a quick vent. Oh, that wolf has no chance. Oh, actually, he's got no flux, though. Okay, now the Q-ship itself. Hopefully we don't get too... There's a lot of us shooting at this point. It should be fine. We'll just do a lot of damage here. Do it! Do it, phase ship! Oh, it's not ready. Oh, too late, man. You could have killed it in an epic... Fa like a hit again? Okay, those point defense need to go. <laughs> they are not good enough to be in my ship. Oh, it's a poor shuttle. Well, that went very well. I don't think we even lost anything, really. And we are looking pretty good in the money right now as well, which is quite nice. While we're here, though, I guess we should have a little look. We have a little peruse of the nearby local world, see if we can find anything cool. Um, yes, I'm aware. Okay, so there is... Oh, it's not good, guys. It's not good. There's not going to be any amazing worlds around here. I guess we should do a little bit of exploration, though. Because we do need to find a nano forge and stuff at some point. I'm pretty sure there's something there. Which is going to suck, because it means I'm going to take some damage getting to it. Let's see if we can just do a full blast move towards it. No fit! Oh, that's going to take too long. Uh, emergency burn? Okay. A research station that... Oh. A thermal lance. Yes. 
Loads of Volkov industry stuff, everybody. It seems to be a bit of a theme at this point. So we'll take it all anyway. Neur Neural Integrator. This is the one that allows you to immediately switch between different ships. Oh. Okay. Interesting. I'll take that. Bliss. Yes. This one's good. This one's really good. Um... Probably not for the ship I'm using at the moment, but if we have the um, Praetorian, it'd be pretty handy, I think. We we'll take that. We've also learnt triple beam cannon. Oh, it's uh, it's uh, for, oh, God, I've forgotten where this guy's name now. From Dragon Ball Z. Ah, oh, I've forgotten. I'm sorry. <laughs> the green guy. The green guy. Everyone knows the Piccolo. Piccolo, everybody. That's what I'm thinking of right now. Piccolo. Anyway, uh, let's get all that over. Let's double tap as well. Oh, 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 oh! The game's just knocking me away. No, stay there. Okay, we've also got Inertia Reduction System, pretty cool. And Flooded Injectors, also pretty cool as well. Oh, that's a... Pr Ooh. Oh, so it makes like a really crazy ship that only has really short range. Well, that could be pretty good on our little friend. We have our little phase ship. We, we consider that one. And we've got another massive death cannon, which I love. I love massive death cannons. Okay, let's get out of it. Okay, have we got anything else nearby? There was something up there we've already been to. I guess we'll like slink around and see if there's anything around the bottom as well. While we're here, why not explore, right? Why not explore? There's more. Oh, we've already been here. Is there anything down by this southern point in this part of the map? Yes, there's a graveyard by the looks of it. There's a gra- oh, God, a graves. Anything cool? Apart from all the XP. There's a falcon. Ooh. Tempting. Tempting, tempting, tempting. I don't think most of these ships are really going to be worth me grabbing. Uh, I am tempted. There's two wolves. I'm going to leave the wolves. I'm going to change my mind on that one. I do kind of want this falcon, though. I'm taking this. This is not only a falcon. This is also a 15th fleet falcon. They're pretty rare. So I'm definitely taking it with me. It's our new friend. It's going to have nothing on it though, I'm going to imagine. I imagine it's going to be pretty cursed. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. It's got some stuff. It's got some stuff. Um, fire support. Interesting. I'm probably going to... I'm definitely going to use this ship, without a doubt. But for now, it's going to be mothballed so we can move around the map normally with it. Because otherwise, it's going to cost all my supplies to fix it. Uh, apart from that, I think we'll leave the rest of it alone. There's also a troop transport that could be useful, but I don't think we need it anymore because we've got more car capacity with the Falcon. I think we'll leave it like that. I know there is some cool ships there, but I don't want to go too far down the rabbit hole getting loads of small ships and stuff. So let's go back up north this way. Shame we haven't found a gate anywhere because that means we can instantly just... Oh, did I not explore that? Let's go back. There's an orbital habitat over there we can get. That was lucky. Uh, let's see. I don't... Oh, I'm going to get rid of some... F Wait, why have we got more... Oh, because there's too many people. Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm not going to jet some people into space. That's not a nice thing to do, so... Oh, oh, oh. There's stuff this way. Lasher and a supply cache. Ooh. I'll take it. Okay, so let's keep going up. And we look back around, get the orbs habit habitat, and we move back to base. But there's no world here that would possibly be able to serve as my home world, unfortunately. So I, I guess while we're here, we can do surveys, though. You never know what you might find. Also, you can sell this to factions, and they might then go off and colonize them at some point, which is pretty cool as well. It's a pretty cool idea. The gas giants. Okay, nothing nearby apart from that habitat. Show me your secrets. It's just mostly food. <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. We got... A, how much is that worth? 30 pounds. 150... 20. Okay, we'll leave it at that. Get rid of those. Done. Get that again. Done. Move. Okay, so... That is done. Let's go over here. We'll check the northern point. We'll go and get the orbital habitat and then we'll head back to base. I really should probably 
Oh, I'm not going to capture it. I thought that was a sensor one. It would have been a lot easier to have earlier, but... Okay, no one nearby. Let's go down here, and we head back. That was a pretty good start, though. I definitely want to try and find a homeworld sooner and later, though, because I want to start creating our empire. If I can, it has to be... Well, I say has to be. I really want a world that has a gate nearby as well, so I can immediately just teleport around back to the core sector and my homeworld. It'd be really, really handy. Okay, let's go over here. There may be defenses this time. Oh, oh, Lindsay Hewitt. Cool. And another AI core. Very, very nice. I will take all that. Thank you, game. Just get rid of that. <laughs> I've had enough. I've had enough of the concrete. We'll leave it alone. So, Lindsay, 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 Lindsay. How powerful are you, Lindsay? So she already has a elite skill of combat endurance. She's got a lot, lot of variety of skills as well. She seems like she'd be pretty good. Let's give her the Falcon for now. I know she's not going to be using it, but we're about to head back anyway, so we'll, we'll equip it with her in a second. So she can have that done. Okay, that went pretty well. Let's get out of here. Back to base. So, it is actually is a bit of a trek to actually get back to base. I'm going to be a bit naughty and see if we can go south and maybe do some more exploring. Um, and if we can find a gate, we can just head back immediately. But I really want to find a gate in this part of the map. The more we find, the easier it is to play the game. Okay, let's get out of it. Oh, I'm mining apparently. I don't want to mine. You can set up mining outposts as well, which is pretty cool. And out outposts anyway. You can use outposts just to give you like supplies out in the middle of nowhere and stuff. It's a pretty cool idea. Or to store stuff. So you can make like a storage base and come back and get stuff when it's safer. Uh, there's nothing. Ooh, it's a Legion class battle carrier. Well, yep. <laughs> I will take that as well. Thank you. Oh, I can't crew it right now, I know. Uh, but we can store it for later use. The amount of times I find these, by the way, is ridiculous. I don't know if I'm lucky or something, but I keep finding them over and over again. <laughs> I think the first series I did, the Bounty Hunter one, I found like two or three in two episodes. I was like, it's everywhere. They're just all over the place. Because we have that with us, so we're going to be a lot slower now, unfortunately. So the quicker we find the gate, the better, really. It's fine. It's a, it's a magic mirage down there. Don't worry about it. Uh, no gates here either. No! No gates? It's fine. We'll find a gate eventually. Although now we're a lot slower, it's actually less viable actually exploring, so... Let's keep going. There will be a gate eventually. There's many gates in this game. Don't worry about that, guys. There's gates everywhere. Oh, it's so slow now. Turns out having a giant battle carrier is a pretty bad, <laughs> pretty slow idea. What about, oh, what about this place? Is it going to strike gold? Gate! Yes! And some kind of orbital. A probe. This could be pretty good. Another AI call. I'll take it. I will take it. Okay, let's head back to base. We is there anything interesting here? There's two stars, barren well, volcanic well, barren well, no. Oh, arid. Arids can sometimes be good. Let's have a quick look just in case. What was this? I can turn my ship to have a Nah. I'm not happy about that. No, thank you. Okay, so perform survey, survey, and we get a class five rich farmland abundant. Or this, this well could be used for a colony. I reckon we colonize this place. Maybe not as the capital, but we can use it as one of our main wells because there's a gate here as well. So maybe we we try and colonize this right away. We need a thousand men. I reckon we go back to our base. We get our stuff. We come back and we just make this. We start the colony right now. We start the Imperium of Man today. I reckon that's the plan. So we come back to this right away. I'll be back. I'll be back. So let's head back to base. Also, is there... Ah, oh, it's a bit of a lack of stable location stuff. Bit of a shame, but is what it is. You, you can use stable locations, by the way, to create... <coughs> sorry. <laughs> you can use them to create stuff such as, like, comedy relays, nav boys, that kind of thing. Pretty handy. 
Let me sit back. How far away from we from the core sector? Quite far away. So it's going to be quite hard to make a profit on this carny because of the distance, but it can at least be used as a carny at some point. So we go over here. Froppa. Okay, awesome. So let's get everything we need. Hopefully there's a troop transport we can use to carry a thousand men to our new carny. Also, I guess we will store our excess ships in the new carny as well instead of over here. Okay, so we need a thousand crew, right? That's going to cost way too much. Ah, if I do activate it though, I will actually be able to just flat out have a thousand crew in this thing. So what we might do as a cheat, we have it activated, but we won't repair it. So let's go, we do that. Repairs as well. I need crew game. Let's get... Oh, that was wrong, that was wrong. We go for... Need that. Need that. It must be perfect. <laughs> I will not abide by unperfect... There you go. Perfect numbers, everybody. Okay, so we'll do that. We need a lot of stuff to go back to base as well. Uh, let's just... What we do... We need more fuel. That's a given. Oh, that's a lot of fuel. Maybe not that much. Oh, no. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I made a grave mistake. A grave, grave mistake, everybody. It's okay. We won't go as exact as last time. That's pretty close, though. That's pretty close. I'll take that. I'm going to sell them the data of this world, but I'm going to immediately colonize it, so they can't do anything about it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It sucks to be you. Uh, was it a 100 machinery to colonize a world? Let's take with us 150. We'll also sell that data and all this random equipment as well. I'm going to keep all these guys with us. Don't worry. We won't get rid of those. Get rid of all that. Get rid of that as well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, wait. That one was a blueprint. I'm going to keep that. Okay. Uh, sell, sell. Done. Okay. That's pretty good. So, let's go back. So, it's going to cost us a lot of stuff to repair all these ships anyway. I'm going to leave that one damaged. It's just literally carrying people for me. We Oh, we're going to need a lot of supplies as well, aren't we? Let's get loads of supplies. Oh, and fuel, sorry. Fuel as well would be pretty handy. No, I want a thousand fuel game. Thousand fuel. Done. It's a lot of our money gone. So, we've got, we got a no ship, though. We can probably... We can't restore it. Never mind. I'm going to see what we can equip with this guy. So... A lot of these weapons I'm just not familiar with, so I'm not sure if they're actually going to be any good or not. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I can't see any of the, uh, these pulse blasters that I'm kind of keen on. So that's, I was going to try and equip some of these on there. Maybe we have to go somewhere else to see what they have elsewhere. Oh, Solace Cannon. These guys are great. I love these cannons. They're really fun. We'll put some of those on. Let's also get ourselves some point defense. Some basic point defense, because the one we used, the faction specific one, wasn't very good. So I'm not keen on having more of those. I guess, well, we can also put on some more javelins. I'm not sure what one of these are good. Let's just put some javelins on. It just sounds pretty fun. This is a pretty damaged ship, though. It's not going to be too powerful, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm going to go and see if we can get some... Let's go elsewhere. Let's go over here. It's okay, game. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're so slow. But I'm really excited that we get to start the Imperium in the second episode. Oh. Oh. Okay, look. You can get repaired a little bit. <laughs> Damn. That was really bad. We lost 100 men. That is awful. Okay, well, that was for me trying to be a budget cutter, everybody. You know, I try and cut corners, people get their lives cut. Not exactly a good trade-off right there. I need more crew! Don't ask one to last lot. It's fine. <laughs> Nothing horrible happened at all. What are you on about? Okay, let's go back into this. Um, we got heavy pulsar cannons. Not really what I'm looking for. I guess it's better than nothing. Um, problem is, these are anti-armor. 
that's going to kind of suck this fit, isn't it? Maybe we just don't do anything with this for a while. Uh, I guess we can equip it temporarily. Let's just get... We put them on to... It's not going to be a good fit, but it would be equipped with something at least, so it can actually fight back. Uh, let's also get maxed out capacitors. And also, while I'm here, because I didn't like this, did I? I was not a fan of these awful point defense units, which are from DME Export. Screw you, DME Export. <laughs> you suck. Let's go for something else, shall we? Let's go for PD lasers at the back, at least. And we'll leave it with that for now. Oh, do you know what? I just realized something. I was I was slating these missile, the point defense missile things. These are facing forward. My bad. I didn't realize that was a thing. I thought they were facing backwards. Okay. That might explain why we're having some issues of point defense. It can't even aim behind it. So a bit of a bit of an L there, but it's okay. Uh, anyway, I still think I'd rather have the laser ones anyway, because it's more active. You can see them doing their thing. So we'll go for that. Uh, let's keep going. Let's head off to our new world, shall we? Brand new world. We will create the Imperium of Man. And I will become its Emperor. Also, we can't forget, by the way, because I already have some blueprints from the start of the game being Imperium. We can already build the basic Imperium goods in the start of the game, which is really, really good. Uh, I don't. Th I think it's only a basic package, so we have to see what's actually available for us to make. But I'm pretty sure we can make at least a few ships. Okay, let's go to this place over here. Oh, that, oh no. Is this a pulsar place? I didn't realize this is a pulsar planet. Oh, that really sucks. This is really... I'm not so sure we want to colonize this place now. Because look how much I just lost there. I just lost literally foul, like tens of thousands of pounds of supplies. Guys, stop repairing. <laughs> Pretty bad world. I, it's a world that I'm going to colonize for income, but we're not going to come back here because it's going to be a bit cursed. We will drop off the carrier, though. Yeah, I didn't realize, but guys, I did not realize. Savage Carney. Yes, we just have enough for it. This will be called June. And I will become the Imperium. Imperium of mankind. We are a. Wait, what is the designator of the Imperium of Mankind? I don't know. I actually don't know. We can change this later, though. If it's wrong, I'll just change it later. I know it's not Iom. <laughs> it's definitely not Iom. Now, I'll tell you what. We do HMS. Here's Majesty's ship. Yes. Excellent. That will work out for me. Okay, so the uh, HMS Intrepid, a Pyramid of Mankind. Yes, I'm happy with all oh, the flag, the flag, the flag, the flag. Clearly only this one is capable of being our flag. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. The Imperium has been created. Okay, so first things first, I really do need to get myself, I should have done this earlier, comms relay. Ah, oh, I need metals and... Duh. Ah, we have to come back at some point because this will allow us to remotely use this world without having to worry about other stuff um oh it's coming it's coming we need to hide okay um ooh, i need more crew thank you so yeah wait, 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 wait before i do any of this let's go to f store we have too much crew. I thought that was going to be the case. <laughs> Let's put that at the front. Actually, I probably should be at the front because it's our main ship there. Um, okay, let's get rid of some of our crew. We've got a little bit too many. Uh, we can also... Oh, use that. We'll store some of this stuff. I don't know why I got all this random equipment, but we're not going to need it anyway. We'll see that be. So, unfortunately, as I had just created this faction, I can't really afford to do anything with it. I'm poor. Um, but it can be used to create some stuff. Oh, no, I'm wrong. I got enough money for it. That's perfect. Let's go. What's this got again? So it's got abundant rich found lands, more ore, and it can create organics. So... If we need a com relay, or this place is not even going to work, it's going to be a disaster otherwise. Let's go for a very basic income thing for farming. Let's just make sure it starts making... Oh, farming or... Hmm... Farming. We go farming. Uh, we can be the breadbasket of the galaxy. It'd be fine. So go for that. 
I'm going to teleport away. I'm going to come back with some stuff a bit later. I'll probably do it between the episodes. We'll come back, we'll give it some stuff and move from there. Oh, wrong one. I need to go back to the gate. Oh, the... Yeah, we, we, we've done this on the edge, everybody. <laughs> we have, like, no resources left. Quickly. It's going to suck teleporting into here. We're just going to get wrecked. Yeah, so at some point, maybe two episodes, I will come back and fix the com relay up so we can actually use this place properly. Apart from that, let's go back here. Let's get ourselves a bunch of stuff. And let's go back to fighting, shall we? Pretty good for us, though. We got ourselves our own world already. Uh, if I do press, we won't be able to build any ships there yet because we haven't got any star base or like uh, shipyards or anything. But we can actually have a look at the blueprints we have. So we go to Imperium blueprints. We can only oh, we can actually make Praetorians, Invictus, and Sebastos. Sebastos, Sebast whatever, <laughs> whatever the ship is. So we actually got a nice versatile ship we can build and a nice shore we can build, as well as a pretty good frigate, to be honest. It's not going to be the super frigate, but it's better nothing. Okay, done. So, what is nearby? Are there bounties? Uh, there's apparently a pirate base we can destroy, which might be a little bit tough. There's also a... I reckon we can do that. I reckon we can kill this. Dwarf Primary Star and Baron World. Let's go and see if we can take down Oberon Rossi, the despicable man. Let me see. Is it, what is this? Oh, it's those guys. At least we moved back at full speed again, though. I was... Oh, there's a big... Whoa, that was a big battle there. Whatever happened. So I got a quick... I got a quick... Curiosity right now. Am I still under commission with the faction? I think I am. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm still a commission while also having my own faction. That's pretty cool. When we get a bit more self-sufficient, I will just drop that and I'll create my own imperial, uh, like our, my own faction properly. But yeah, if you do press D though and go to E, uh, factions, you can now see that we are in fact in the game. Oh, are we? No, we're not. Maybe I can't see my own faction. Oh, I think it's because I got a commission. We'll keep the happy times of them for a little bit longer, though. And then we'll split off from them, like I said. I don't want to do it too soon. We'll get stuff established first, and then we we'll go in for it. Okay, so... It's over here, right? I'm pretty sure the enemy target's going to be in this area here. Let's see what happens. Hello? Oh, wait. Is this the right place? Wait a minute. Wait, this is the wrong place, me! What am I doing? It's over here. Oh, that's a big enemy fleet that like waits at the bottom of the uh, sport, uh, the type drive things. I don't think there's any planets in here. Oh, there's one planet. It might be a barren world. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. There are ludic path people here. Wait, let's do a quick. Oh no, <laughs> there's a lot of them over there. And also, there is a barren world, so I'm pretty sure this is the place we need to be. Let me do another one. Oh yeah, I saw next. Okay, he's here. He is here somewhere. Believe! There he is, there he is. Oh, I missed. We've got to be really careful. If we mess up and get into the point where we have to actually fight that station, we're not going to survive. Oh, I got this, I got this. Wait, stop. Activate. No, stop, activate. No, come back. No! Give it to me. Yes, I got Rusty's fleet. They're not actually allied, by the way, so it's totally fine. Um, Okay. I will probably kill them afterwards as well, though. I don't know if I should employ this Falcon. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. Ah, oh, I'd be fine. Ah, what am I what? It's a giant Falcon. It may have some really bad weapons on it, but it's it's fine. Don't worry about it, everybody. What are we fighting anyway? Oh, it's a Shrike. That's really bad. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to deploy more units because Shrikes are notorious for killing my units, everybody. We're going to see if we can take that guy down immediately. It may actually kill me. <laughs> I don't think it's going to kill my phase ship, though. Yeah, it's not it's, I think I might retreat now, actually. I think I lost too much HP. There's also the Enforcer chasing us down as well, which is not good. Um, I love this ship. It's so... Not, not what I'm using, the one that I'm looking at. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. That's bad. I'm in trouble. I need help. Somebody help me! Okay, let's be very careful here. So what's happening right now? The 
Phase ship is murdering the Shrike. Apparently, I was worried about nothing. There is also... Okay, let's get these two AMP guys to help me take down... Actually, it probably would be better... If we spread some damage out, I think. Let's get those guys to take down those really fast moving targets to the left there. We will get... We'll leave the Shrike on murder duty when it comes to the uh, Sorry, the Shrike. What's this called again? What is this ship? Maximus. Oh, that's a good name. <laughs> I approve. He, the Maximus can call the Shrike. Let's just push through here. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Help me. Help me. Oh. It's, remember, this is the only anti-armor, this Falcon. It has no way of destroying shields. <laughs> It's the worst fit I've ever made in my entire life. At least... I think so. It might win, though. It is a cruiser versus a destroyer in the end of the day. It's not like it's... It is a different weight class. It's like having, like, um... I don't know. Butterbean go against... Uh, I can't remember this guy's name now. Someone that's skinny. <laughs> yes. Good job, me. References worked out great. Brilliant job. I, I uh, The guy's uh, face pinned to my mind. He like plays like, he's like really skinny, but I can't remember his name for the life of me. It's fine. Some people are really, really skinny, by the way. I know it's a random thing to say, but I'm amazed sometimes. I'm not a skinny guy. I've, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of meat on my bones, let's put it that way. Um, but like some guys, like arms are literally the size of twigs. You can see the outline of their bones. It's it's crazy how thin people can be, but also how big people can be. But anyway, moving on. People come in all different shapes and sizes. That's my, that's my ending comment there. Let's go for that. And how I'm talking about this now, I have no idea. <laughs> it's just happened, everybody. It's just how it is. Where do you think you're going? Everybody killed him. Kill it. Oh, I've got missiles I could use. That might even slow him down. There you go, he's got his shield out now. It's slowing down a little bit. Hit the thing, hit the thing. Ah, oh, it's a bit of a shame. Oh, 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 maybe. He's in range, it's over. It's over for you. Oh, that, it's so good. It's so good. Good job, Maxim. Good job. Enemy has been completely spanked into oblivion we are still alive i'm going to save and i'm gonna get the hell maybe we're getting no nah, i'm gonna kill people as well <laughs> i was gonna get get the hell out of there but it's okay do we want to deploy everybody yes i think we do i will deploy you all oh, let's go wait why don't you not get a speed boost oh this is this is bias why am i so okay it's fine <laughs> damn it game uh, so what have they got? They got a Sunderer, which could be a little bit of a problem. Um, well, it depends on who it gets to, I guess. Let's just see what... Okay, let's help out first by just killing these little guys. I can probably kill this guy. Oh, good. I these cannons are amazing, by the way. I can't wait to get my own ship with them on. Okay, there he is. Uh, I need you to engage that guy there. What is? Why are we allowing this to happen over here? That's not good. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. This is bad. This is bad. If it turns on me, we're in, we need to break the shields. My falcon is only anti armor. Come on! Oh wow! Invictus is dead. It's died. It's died. It's died. It's died. I don't think telling it to retreat is going to help at this point. I think it's screwed. I think also we've kind of overextended ourselves. <laughs> We may be slightly overextended, sir. Get out of the way of the ship, mate. Help it survive. It's not looking too good for the armor right now. Let's see, shoot some stuff out there. Is there a reason we're not shooting, by the way? Oh, that's not good. Sorry, I can't move. I'm sorry. I'm trying my best, man. I'm just spinning around. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're good. This guy's still going, which is kind of terrifying, really, at this point, because... Oh, that's not good. Back up, back up. You need to change targets. You need to change targets. Save me. That was dodgy. That was really dodgy. Oh, no, not again. No, no, no. Oh. 
Kill it, Falcon. Do it for me. Do it for all those times we shared. Do it. Oh, he's not going to do it, is he? He's going to pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, this has not gone too well, has it? <laughs> is my ship at least turning back on yet? Okay, I'm coming back, buddy. This is why ship designs are important, everybody. This is why. This is literally the, the main cause of why they're very important. He's going to get away. I don't know if I can stop him, to be honest. I think he's out of there. I guess I can just shoot some missiles at him, though. You never know. No, that's not who I want you to kill. Okay, well. <laughs> it's okay. You should have sent the uh, the phase ship after him. That would have killed them all. Or can we still... Oh, he's gone. Never mind. <laughs> he's already escaped. It's too late. No, 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 no. Get him. Oh, he's actually quite hurt. You never know, though. Let's see if we can do it. I mean, I think we lost a few ships here and there. Uh, let, what's going on down there? They're fighting a giant freighter. Well, I probably should have noticed that earlier. Get him, buddy. Get him. Oh, he retreated. Never mind. Well, we tried our best. I mean, there's clearly some very obvious flaws of my ship designs at the moment, especially this one and the Falcon. But there's a reason I didn't want this one. I wanted the Praetorian. <laughs> there's a good reason for this. Oh, I didn't realize we lost that. Uh, let them go. Ship recovery. Oh, it's going to be over there. We, we have to do it. It's fine. We'll grab that. Pick through wreckage. Grab all. Dump. Go. But we did level up from that, though. So it's not the end of the world. Uh, let's go for... Hmm... So I'm going to try and get the D-Mob one sooner or later this time. Because it is extremely useful removing D-Mobs randomly. That's not the one. It's this one. This is the one we need. We need this skill as soon as possible. Let's go for... They're both pilot only though, aren't they? Um... Yeah, let's go for this one. Screw it. I know it's not great, but... It'd be fine. I mean, it slightly increases my ship's abilities anyway. It's not like it's a complete waste. Let's go for that one. Uh, we took a lot of damage there. Our ship has been recovered, though. Did it lose any weapons? No, it's okay. I think we get out of it. I'm going to say we're going to get hell. Let's get... Run away! We have to get out of here, everybody. We can't stay here. Okay, let's go. So, everybody, I think that's probably it for me today. What I'll do between episodes, I am going to go and I am going to probably set up a commentary at the, the um, our new colony. And also, I, no, that'll probably be it, to be honest. I'll probably just set up a commentary relay just so we can do it remotely and not have to go back there every time. Uh, apart from that, everybody, I hope that everyone has enjoyed today's episode. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.